window. There was no way to open that window. The window was not designed to open. I realized the doors must lead to a loading platform high above the dockside. Okay. Something sticky. The crate was labeled Danger. Live contents do not drop. There were small holes in the top and sides and scratchy noises coming from inside. Yes, yeah, so what, what is it? I really don't want to look up a walkthrough, but I might have to. What are those switches? Wait, what? There's a light switch? Oh, rope. Oh, what is this? Scratch marks. Hidden door. There was an arc-shaped scratch on the floor, as if a door had been opened in the nearby wall. There's a door there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this game... Well, it's not just this game. A lot of games are like this. You spend ages finding the right thing to click. And you know, like there's a little switch on the wall that turns on the lights and then you can see the scratch marks. My fingers trace the outline of a secret door in the wall. Good job. Like it's not even a puzzle, it's just... Then I found a small round stud which was set flush to the surrounding wooden paneling. Right. Just as I'd hoped. A secret room. Like, and all of these other items are completely red herrings. They don't do anything at all. And so while you're clicking on this obvious stuff, trying to figure out what to do... Nico. Apparently there's a... Okay. Apparently there's a tiny little... button you need to... You need to click. It's not really puzzles. You know, it's not good puzzle design. There. How are you feeling? Oh, thanks, George. How on earth did you find me? I knew Ubie had been in Marseille. But never mind about me. How about you tell me exactly what's going on, starting with that Mayan stone? I picked it up from one of Kazakh's men in Paris. I was expecting a consignment of narcotics. Drugs? Yes. The proof I needed to expose Kazakh's smuggling operation. I'd set it up to act as his courier, and once I had the proof, I planned to go straight to Inspector Moon. But instead of the dope I'd expected, they sent me that stone instead. And to find out more, I called Professor Oubillet, who invited me to his mansion. At least, I thought it was Oubillet. I don't get it. If Karzak's business is drugs, why is he so desperate to get his hands on that stone? Maybe it has some significance to the local people in Central America. It could be Karzak's means of getting them to work for him. Anyway, we've got to get out of here. She looks really ugly there, by the way. Wait! Well, sticky tape, that's great. Stick that in your I decided pocket. to keep the masking tape. It was bound to be of some use to me. Yeah, bound to be. <laughs> Just put it in his pocket, great. What is that thing? It was a flint carving of a grotesque figure with large evil eyes. Well, that's charming. Um, nothing else in here to click on? Right. Well, we found Nico. So she was several hundred kilometers away, not several thousand. We can't use the elevator. If that thug Pablo's recovered, he'll be waiting for us. We've got to do something. Where does that door lead to? I'm not sure. Should we talk to her? Let's talk to her. <laughs> I found these in your bag. Oh, they were a gift. I know, I read the note. 
God knows what was going through Andre's mind. I think that's quite plain enough. Funny? Well, actually, that's not funny. I was hoping it would be funny, but it wasn't. Yeah, this game's not as good as the first game. The dialogue was much more entertaining in the first game. Okay, tell me what you know about Condor. Condor Transglobal exports Aztec and Mayan relics from Central America to Europe. But that's just a cover for the real business. Drug smuggling. What proof do you have? Nothing yet. Do you know where Condor is based? In Central America. A place called Cuaramonte. I saw that name on a docket downstairs. Yeah, that's because they're transporting stuff from Coramonte. Tell me about this Karzak guy. Well, I saw him for only a few minutes, but he frightens me. I got the impression that Pablo was nervous when he was around too. His eyes, they're like a wild animal's, like a tiger. That's what scared me most about him. He looked so unpredictable and dangerous. Did you know Ubier's wife was a film star? No, I didn't know he was married. What happened to her? She died. In mysterious circumstances, apparently. How mysterious? I heard she was murdered. Possibly by Ubier himself. A murderer, huh? André said he was something of a celebrity. Did I hear you refer to Inspector Moon? Yes. You remember him? Yes. Of course I do. But I thought he was dead. Oh, no. He reappeared after the broken sword case had blown over. When he found out who was in with the Neo Templars, he went into hiding. Mu knew more than was good for him. Does he know about our involvement with the case? If he does, he's not telling. Still, he got a sudden promotion. Huh. Okay. Did that Indian guy mistreat you? Did he forget about the abduction, verbal threats and bondage? No. Well, what about the little guy? I don't think he knows where he is or what he's doing here. The big guy, Pablo, he brought Titipoco from the jungle. Titty what? Titty Poco. That's what I heard Pablo call the dwarf. Titty Poco, right. Do you recognize this? Is that the dart which knocked me out? That's right. I kept it as a souvenir. Okay. Have you any idea who this little statue is supposed to be? I'm not very well acquainted with my deities, George. But whatever his name, he sure is ugly. Look, the little guy downstairs was chained up with these. That must have been Pablo's doing. I don't blame him, though. That little guy is dangerous. You're still sore about that poison dart? Of course I'm sore. Okay, that was nothing useful. What do you mean? I'm pretty sure that fits there. It doesn't? Okay, it doesn't. Um, let's see, masking tape on the... Wait, what's this? I had something else in the inventory. Hopefully, the tape would prevent those doors from closing and stop the Indian from being able to call the elevator. What's that? It was the rope the Indian had used to tie Nico oh. to a chair. Boy, oh. what a souvenir. Okay. Oh, push the crate. And then we push that crate onto the other crate. And then we push this crate. I still want to know what's inside here. Probably more spiders. And then we push the statue. Oh, we raised the statue, okay. The pallet rose about six inches off the floor. And I said a silent prayer to whoever had discovered the power of hydraulics. What on earth are you doing? Trying to raise the statue so I can hook it to that pulley. Is that really going to help us? Yes. I like to keep myself occupied in times of stress. Yes, it is going to help us. It would be much easier to attach the rope to the statue first. How, how would you know? Like, what's the difference? I don't understand.
Okay, so now we have the statue on the pulley. And we push the pulley. I didn't want to remove No, no, don't remove the Push it. Yes. No. It was too heavy for me to move on my own. Hey Nico. 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 Stop walking around. Could you give me a hand to push this statue? What for? This, my dear, is our passport to freedom. If you say so, dear. That was uncomfortable. Okay, push! <laughs> she did not help. Great teamwork. Nice to be working with you again, Mr. Stobart. Right. Like that, that's just really awkward and uncomfortable. <laughs> this, this game is a little bit strange. Seriously. There's a rope here. I thought about hanging from the cable with my bare hands, but it was too far to the other end of the cable to escape that way. Well, obviously you used the panties. That wouldn't work. Oh, come on. Um... Well... Crap. Now what? Um... Okay, I got nothing. I've got nothing. Oh, I wasn't no, no. Manacles. Nico, I have a great idea. Great idea. Great. George, where have you been? Never mind that. Do you have the Mayan stone? Maybe I have, but uh... Don't argue, André. Give the stone to George. Well, of course. If you say so, Nicole. Thank you so much, André. George, he told me you'd been kidnapped, my dear. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Oh, but it was true. If it hadn't been for George, I wouldn't be here now. That's not finished yet. Karzak's thugs will be back for that stone, you can bet. The best lead that we have is Coromonte City. Coromonte? It's in Central America. That's where Ubié gets his artifacts. That's all we needed to know. Come on, George. Why? What? Why did we talk about that stuff in front of that guy? Coromonte, the traveler's rear entrance to Central America. Well, that's how it was translated in the brochure. We didn't know what we were looking for, but the offices of Condor Trans Global seemed a good place to start. Okay, well that's fascinating. I think I'll take a short break, or a long break, although you won't care. I'm just gonna stop the recording hey, here. It's market day. Yes, and... I don't see any cabs. Let's ask someone how to get to Cuaramonte City. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for any sign of Condor Transglobal. Are you seeing that animation? Anyway. Alright, I'll take a little break and I'll come back and we're in South America. It's uh... yeah, okay.